Hello, everyone. My name is Michael, and I work for the San Francisco Public Library. And today, you're going to learn how to store and organize digital images with Google Photos. The agenda for today is I'm going to go over what is Google Photos, where to get Google Photos, backing up photos from your device, storage limits of Google Photos, uh, the new locked folder option, how to navigate the Google Photos web portal, how to upload photos, how to create an album in Google Photos, and how to share your album with others. So Google Photos, what is Google Photos? Google Photos is kind of like a photo slash video sharing and storage service. It is cloud-based, so all your photos and videos are stored on a Google Drive account, and it can be accessed through a computer or an app on your smartphone. And since this is cloud-based, you will have to have a Google account. So where to get Google Photos? Normally, if you have an Android device, it would uh, normally be installed on there already, but if not, you would go to the Google Play Store. If you have an iPhone or iPad, you have to go to the Apple App Store and you will have to look for Google Photos there. And if you want to access Google Photos on the web portal, then you will have to go to this address right here on the screen. And it says google.com slash photos. There are many ways of getting to Google Photos on like, the web portal, and this is just one of them. So it really depends on what you're comfortable with. If you are already logged into your Google account, then there are other ways of getting to Google Photos. So backing up your photos from your device. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use screenshots from an Android device. So don't worry if this looks a little bit different from your device, but the same concepts are there. So once you have Google Photos installed onto your device and you open up Google Photos, it's going to ask you if you have an account or not. If you already have an account and you're signed in, then that's great. You should see this screen on the left-hand side of your screen right here. If you are not logged in, it is gonna ask you to log in. So you have to enter in your login email and your password. If you do not have an account, you will have the option of signing up for a free account from Google. And once you do that, you should see something similar to the left-hand side of your screen right here. So this is the main page that you will see once you click on the icon on your device and you go into Google Photos. And you should see the words Google Photos near the top of your screen right here. And on the right-hand side of that, you should see like the first initial of your name. So this is an indication that you are signed in and your account is good. And once you're in here, you should see all these options right here on the bottom. So on the bottom from the left, you, see, you should see the options as Photos. And if you go to the right, you should see Search. And if you keep on going, you should see sharing. And the last option on the right-hand side would be library. And for backing up your photos or videos from your device, you will have to go to the top right-hand corner of your screen and you locate the first initial of your name and you will click on that. Once you click on that, you should see the next screenshot right here, which is kind of like a pop-up and you have more options on there as well too. The first thing on your screen would be your name and your email address. So this is an indication that you are signed in and this is your account. This is important to pay attention to because you might have multiple accounts. So you might have, you, you might be storing things on multiple accounts. So you might have one thing on one, one thing on another. So you might not find one on one because it might be on other account. So that's why you see right here, what account you're in and that then you would know that, oh, this is the wrong account or this is the right account. And once you're here, and if you, you go down the screen, you see more options. So you see something that says Google account. I'm pointing to it with my pointer right here. This usually goes to your like settings in your account, your name, your email, your password. The next things you see would be account storage. So if you have an older device, this might be lower on the screen. If you have a newer device, it might be higher. But this, this is an indication on how much space you have on your account. And I will go over that later today as well too. And the next thing you should see is something that says a backup complete, or you should see a number that says how many things that you need to back up. And it will, it will let you know right here. And the next thing you should see is uh, something that says, um, there's a, should be like a number and number of items to be deleted from this device. So what this means is that your photos or videos are already backed up to your Google account, your Google Photos account, and it is safe to remove from your device. So you could save space on your device but they will be still saved on your Google Photos account. And this is the option you would select. So if you already have your photos or videos backed up to your account, you should not delete those from your device directly. 
you should delete them from the Google Photos app. The reason is because if you delete your photos or videos directly from your device, then it will be automatically deleted from your Google Photos account too. If you select this option on your screen right here, I'm pointing to it with my mouse, then it, it knows that you're only deleting from your device, but not your backup, which is in Google Photos. This is very important to remember. And the last thing on the screen would be the photo settings. And this is where you will click on to kind of enable or disable the automatic backup option from Google Photos. So once you click on that, you should see something similar to this on the left-hand side of your screen on the screenshot. So some of the options might be there, some of the options might not be there. So I took the screenshot from an Android device and I have looked at other devices as well too. And the ordering of the option might look a little bit different, but everything should be here. The first thing and the, the most important thing you should be paying attention to on this screen is the first option right here, back up and sync. So right now it says back up and sync. I'm pointing to it with my pointer and it says backing up to, and there's an email address right here. So once you click on this right here, you should get to the next screen, which is the right-hand side of your screen right now. And you should see all these options right here. It says backup and sync. And it says upload, search, organize, edit, and share your photos from any device. It says backup and sync. And to the right of that, you see like a toggle switch. And if you see that it's toggled to the right, it means that it is on. If it is toggled to the left, it means it's off. So you have the option of kind of turning it on or turning it off if you want your items to be backed up or not. If you turn it on, it will automatically back up all your photos or videos to your Google Photos account. And it will let you know what account it is right here underneath on the bottom. Backup account and it should give you your email address and how much space you have left as well too. And if you run out of space, you have the option of kind of buying storage from Google Photos. And I will briefly go over that later today as well. So earlier I mentioned about storage limits. So how much can you store in Google Photos? So for your Google Photos account, you get 15 gigabytes of storage. This storage is shared throughout various Google platforms. So if you have a Gmail account and you have email messages in your Gmail account, then those take up space on your account. They count towards your 15 gigabytes. If you use uh, other things provided by Google as well too, those take up space as well too. And if you're worried about that, you have the option of choosing how to kind of back up your photos. You have the option of original quality and you have the option of storage saver. So original quality means that uh, it will back up your photos to your Google Photos account in its original quality. It's not gonna reduce the quality of it. If you take a really high quality photo with your phone, it's gonna be backed up the same way. And this usually takes up space more. But if you go to storage saver option, then it will back up your photos, but it will kind of reduce your quality a little bit just to save space. So if you have used Google Photos in the past, you might already have photos on your Google Photos account. And Google Photos did make a kind of a recent change. So in June of 2021, they changed it a little bit. So if you stored anything before June 1 of 2021 and you chose kind of like the reduced quality option, those photos will not count towards your 15 gigabytes. But if you add anything after June 1st of 2021, then everything will count towards your 15 gigabyte limit in your Google Photos account. So if you have anything before, don't worry about that because all of those photos that are backed up before that date are, are not counting towards your 15 gigabytes. So next I'm gonna go over the locked folder option. So this option became available fairly recently. So it might not be available on most devices. And I believe that at the time of this class, it's, it is still not available on like iPhones or iPads yet. And it's available on only certain Android devices. It is available if you have an uh, Android device and you have Android 6 or later. And it uses the screen lock option on your device to secure your photos. So if you do not have a screen lock on your phone or tablet, then you might not be able to use this option and they would ask you, you must set up a screen lock. So a screen lock is where you might have to swipe like a pattern, or if you, you would have to set up like a number. So you might have like four digits to have to enter before it unlocks. And it kind of uses this concept to secure your photos as well too. So items in the folder are saved to the device only. So you can move your photos to this folder and it'll be 
saved only on your device. So it is not backed up to the cloud. Photos are lost if the phone is unusable. And photos need to be saved before uninstalling the app or switching phones. So it's not like the original concept of Google Photos where you have your photos, then it backs up to the cloud. Then if you lose your phone or tablet, you can always log in to get your photos. No, so locked photo option is you, all your photos in this folder are only saved to your device. And anything happens to your device, it is gone. So that is one thing to consider as well too. So photos originally backed up will be deleted once it is in the locked folder. And items in the locked folder cannot be added to al albums and you cannot search for these items as well too. And it will not show up on the list of all your photos. So the locked folder, so how do you get to the locked folder? So you open the Google Photos app. So I have a screenshot on the left right here. It should look something similar to this. And once you get to here, you will locate the library option, which is usually near the bottom right of your screen. And once you go to library, you will go to the option that says utilities. And once you go to utilities, you look for the locked folder option. And if it is brand new, you will see the option that says set up locked folder. And once you click on that, you should get more options or more instructions on what to do next. And you would follow those instructions on the screen. And once you finish those instructions, it's just, it might say that, oh, it, your folder is empty or nothing's here. That means that it is brand new. You have not moved anything to this folder yet. So getting photos to your locked folder. So you have to open the Google Photos app first and you will locate the photo or video that you want to move and you will have to select that photo or video that you want to move to the locked folder. And once you select that, you should see three dots on the top right-hand corner of your screen and you will click on that and you tap on the more option. And then once you do that, you should select move to locked folder and you will tap move. And this will move your photo or video to your locked folder. Okay, so that was kind of like a brief overview of Google Photos on your device. So now I'm gonna go to the Google web portal. And like I mentioned earlier, you could go to photos.google.com or google.com slash photos. It really depends on your preference but there are other options as well too. I went to my web browser and I went to the address bar and typed in google.com slash photos. So on your screen right now, you should be seeing kind of like the main page of Google Photos before you log in. So you could go to the top right-hand corner of your screen. You could click on go to photos and it's gonna ask you uh, to log into your account. So I'm gonna log into my account right now. Okay, so once you log into your account, you should see something similar to this. If you have never used Google Photos before, you should not see any photos in the middle of your screen. But if you have used Google Photos before, or if you have backed up your photos to Google Photos, then you should see some kind of photos in the middle of your screen. And I'm gonna go over how to navigate this portal as well too. So I'm gonna start from the left-hand side of the screen. So my mouse right here, it is pointing to Google Photos and Photos. So this is how you will go back to the main page of your Google Photos. So I'm gonna click on it right now. And it's just gonna bring me back to here. And if you click on this icon right here on the left-hand side, it says photos, and there is a icon of like a photo. It's basically gonna bring you back to here. The next option right here on the left-hand side will be explore. It is indicated by kind of like a magnifying glass. So you will click on it and you should see what Explore is. So what, what Explore is, is, is basically it kind of, oh, let's see, if you already have photos in your Google Photos account, uh, the Explore option would be, it kind of looks through your photos, it, it kind of categorizes all your photos. So it sees like what's kind of like the prominent landmark in your photo, and it will give you categories. So I already uploaded some test photos to my Google Photos account for today's class. And these are the things that Google Photos sees in those photos. So it kind of already categorizes the photos. So I have waterfalls, I have skylines, I have monuments, I have food, and I have sky. So if I click on any of these, let's see, I'm gonna click on the food option right here. So I uploaded a lot of photos of kind of different things. And it, uh, Google Photos saw that these photos are considered food. And that's what it kind of placed that in this category. And this is how I would find the photos here. 
So I have many photos of cakes and burgers and pizzas and cupcakes. So I'm gonna go back. I'm, and for you to go back, you would go to the top left-hand corner of your screen and you look for the arrow pointing left. And it's gonna bring me back. And you can see there's more options as well too. I could click on the bridge option right here on the right-hand side. And it is gonna show me all the options that have bridges in them. So let me see if I have a category that's, that kind of didn't work out. So let's see. So I think Google Photos did a pretty good job in categorizing all my photos. So it's mainly all accurate. So keep in mind that this is not instant. So if you upload all your photos, let's say at one o'clock and you expect to find all these categories within like five minutes, it's not gonna happen. It might take some time. So then the time may vary. So I don't have a good uh, time frame, but it will kind of categorize it for you. And if you want to search more things from your photos, you would scroll. Let's see, I'm going to go back to explore the main page. And on the bottom, you should see all these options right here. So I'm not going to go over these, but when you have time, you can look through these yourself as well and you can kind of explore. So I'm going to go back to the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to go to the third option on the left, which is sharing. So I'm going to click on that. And sharing is indicated by kind of like an icon that looks like two people on the left-hand side. So what sharing means is that if you have photos in Google Photos and you want to share it with someone, those sharing photos or albums will be listed here. So you know which albums are shared, which photos are not shared. And I've shared only these three albums right here. So it'll be indicated right here. So if you uh, want to delete the album or you don't want to share anymore, then you will go to the album right here and to the right-hand side of your screen, you should see three dots and you can hover over the album first before these three dots would appear. And you will click on it and you can click delete album. The fourth option on the left-hand side would be print store. And it's indicated by like a kind of like a shopping bag. So once you click on it, it will bring you to here. So what this is, is Google Photos has their own service where once you upload your photos to Google Photos, you have the option of using their print store and ordering like products. So you could order, let's see, photo books, photo prints, premium uh, photo print features, or you could order canvas prints as well too. So this is an, an option if you would like, but if you prefer not to use it, it's fine. It's there if, if you need to, but if not, you could ignore it. And I'm gonna go over to the next option on the left-hand side. So we kind of finished the first four options on the left right here, I'm pointing to it with my mouse and we're gonna go to the library option. So in Google Photos, you might have like a thousand photos or like a hundred photos. And sometimes it might be difficult for you to find. So you have the favorites option right here on the left hand side. It's indicated by kind of like a square. So it, you have the option of favoring, favoriting your like photos. So you have to look through all of them. And I've only favorited uh, two of these photos right here. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna show you how to favorite your photo. So I'm gonna click on the first icon right here on the left-hand side, says photos. It's gonna bring me back to the main screen. And these are all my photos. So I might not wanna look through all these photos. I might wanna just find one photo right here. So, so let's say I like this cake right here. I'm gonna, gonna click on it. And once I click on it, it's gonna open. And once it opens, there's gonna be more options on the right-hand corner. I'm gonna go over these options later, but the option right now would be the star. And the star is the favorite option. So I'm gonna use my mouse and click on it. And it's gonna favorite this photo. So now, since it's been favorited, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to the left-hand side of the screen, and look for the arrow. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna to go to the favorites option on the left-hand side. And right now, I'm on my favorites screen and I notice that there was two photos before, but now there's three photos. So it added my favorite cake photo to this as well. And it, it is right here. So this is very helpful if you have a lot of photos and you do not want to look through all your photos to find your one favorite photo. So that's how you would favorite your photo. And while we're on the screen, I would like to point out that all your photos kind of live on the main screen of your Google Photos page. And it's kind of, organized in like a chronological order. So you would look on the right-hand side of your screen and you use your mouse, kind of highlight through like the scroll bar usually, 
it's going to start with the most recent photo and your older photos will be on the bottom of your page. So right now I'm in November, 2021, but if I scroll down, it's going to go to like, let's see January, 2021 or sometime in 2004. So the older photos will be on the bottom, the newer photos will be near top. So next I'm going to go over albums. So you could kind of create separate albums for all your photos. So now all your photos are living here on the main screen, but sometimes it might be not like a good visual option for you because there could be like a lot. So you could create separate albums so you could sort through photos like that. So for you to do that, you click on the albums option on the left hand side of your screen. I'm going to click on it right now. The icon kind of looks like a paper with like a bookmark. And once you click on it, it will show you the albums page. And I've created some uh, sample albums here as well too. But if you have not created any albums, this page would be blank. So I have all these albums right here that I've created in the past. And if I click on it, I'll go into the album. And for this album, I have two photos. And I'm gonna go to the second album right here. And it's gonna have more than two. So all of these are right here. I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna show you how to create an album with your existing photos in Google Photos. So to create an album, you will go to the top right-hand corner of your page, kind of right here, it says create album. You will click on it and it's gonna bring you to this page right here. It's gonna ask you what the title is. I'm gonna say sample album. You can name it anything you want. And once I do that, I will scroll down on the page. It's gonna say add photos. So where do you wanna add photos from? So if you are, have already uploaded your photos to your Google Photos account, which normally it would do automatically if you have like a phone or tablet and you select automatic backup, then you would go to select photos from here on the bottom. And it's gonna bring you to your, kind of like your main page before of all your photos. And you will kind of go through your photos and you select what photos do you want to add to your album. So I'm just gonna add one, two, three. So in order for you to select your photos, you would use your mouse, you hover over it, and you will click anywhere within the photo. And once you click on it, there's gonna be a check mark on the left-hand top of your like, photo. It's, this is gonna be an indication that the photo has been selected. So I've selected three photos right here. I'm gonna select one more here. So I've selected four photos. So once I do that, I will click done, and it is gonna add these photos to my album. But let's say you have photos that are not in Google Photos yet, and you want to select it from your computer, or if you save your photos on, let's say a flash drive, that you will go to the top right-hand corner of your screen, uh, choose the option, select from computer. So I'm gonna click on it right here. And it's gonna ask me where are the photos? And you will kind of search through your computer, see where it is. So I have downloaded like one photo earlier. So I'm gonna say, this is the photo, I'm gonna select open. On the left hand side, on the bottom of your screen, you should see something that says one item uploaded. So I've selected one photo from my computer and this is the photo. And it is gonna be uploaded to Google Photos and it's gonna be put in this album. So I'm gonna go back. So that new album I have created is right here on the left hand side of your screen. So I'm gonna click on it again. And since there's already one photo in the album, I might wanna add more. I'll go to the top right hand corner of the screen I will look for this icon right here that looks like uh, kind of like a photo with like a plus sign. And if you don't know what the options are, you use your mouse and you can hover over each of the icons and it will let you know what the function is of that icon. So I'm gonna click on it, add photo. And I'm gonna select more photos right here. And once I'm done, I'll click done on the top right hand corner of the page. And now it added three items to the album. And this is my album right here. And I'm gonna go back. So here's the album. So let's say you are happy with this album and you want to share it with someone. So you have a couple of ways of sharing, but the easiest way would be to locate the albums option on the left-hand side, and it'll bring you to this page right here, and you will locate the album that you wanna share. And once you do, you hover over like the icon of the album and you should see three dots on the top right-hand corner of the photo of the album. And you will click on it and it'll give you more options. And this is where you have the options of rename album, 
share album or delete album. So I'm gonna click on the share album option. And once I do that, it's gonna bring me to this page right here. And it's gonna say, who do I want to share this album with? And you would locate the two section near the top of the screen. And you would just type in like a name if you have, already have their email saved to your account. If not, you could type in someone's address. And once you do that, you should be able to invite them. But notice that it says no Google account found. So if you're sharing or inviting people to this album, they would have to have a Google account. So I'm gonna click X. And that's kind of how you would share your album with someone that has like a Google account. Okay, so next I'm gonna go over the utilities option on the left-hand side of the screen. It is gonna be the next option. So the utilities option is kind of indicated by like an icon with like three boxes with like a check mark. So this is, is where you would go to kind of create kind of like movie or animation or collage options for your photos. So I'm gonna create a quick project right here. So on the middle of your screen right here, you see the option that says create new, and you should see the option that says movie, animation, or collage. So I'm gonna click on the collage option right here, and it's gonna ask me what items do I want to put in my collage. And notice that on the top left-hand side of your screen right here, it says create collage, select two to nine items. So you have the option of adding up to nine photos in your collage. So I'll select one, two, three, four, five, six. And once I do that, I'm gonna click the create option near the top right-hand corner of the page. I'm say create, and it's gonna create my collage. Okay, so here is my collage. So you can see that it kind of placed all the photos in like an order, and it's gonna be saved to your Google Photos account. And you can share this, you can print this, it, it's up to you. So I'm gonna hit the back button right here on the top left-hand corner. And that's kind of like one option of like utilities. So next I'm gonna go over archives on the left-hand side of the screen right now. It's indicated by like a box with like an arrow pointing down. So what archive means is that sometimes you might have a lot of photos in Google Photos and you might not want it to show on your main screen. So you have the option of archiving it. So what it means is, is that it's moving it to this kind of like a separate folder, so it will not show on the main screen of Google Photos. But it, it doesn't mean that it is deleted from your Google Photos account. It's just moved aside, so you don't have to see it, but it is still there. And how you would archive a photo is, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click on the photo option near the top left-hand corner, and it's gonna bring me back to the main screen. And I will select a photo that I want to archive. So let's say I don't like this photo of this pizza right here. So I'm gonna click on it. And once I click on it, you should see these options on the top right-hand corner of the, your page. So once you click on the three dots, you should see more options right here. And one option is archive. So you will click on archive, or if you prefer, or if you do this a lot, you could use like a shortcut. And the shortcut is on the right-hand side of your screen right here. It says Shift A. You click on it, and it's gonna archive this photo. And I'm gonna go back. So that photo is no longer a part of my main screen in Google Photos, but it's gonna be in my archives. So I'm gonna click archive right here, and it's gonna bring me back to my archives, and this is the photo that I just archived. And that's how you would kind of organize your photos, move things from your main page so you don't have to see them again, but they will still be there. So in the future, you always still have access to those items. And the next option would be trash. This is kind of self-explanatory. So for items that you do not like and you wanna delete, you would move them to your trash folder and your items would stay in your trash for 60 days. So if you change your mind, you've always un untrashed your items, or, but if not, they will be removed from your account after 60 days. And for you to move your items to your trash, you would select the photo again. So I'm gonna select this photo right here. I'm gonna click on the trash icon, which is near the top right-hand corner of the page. I'll click on that, and it's gonna ask, you do you want to remove this from your account and sync devices? I'll say move to trash. And it's going to move it there. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go to the trash option right here. And it's going to be right here. So it's right here if you want to restore it in the future, or if not, it will be deleted from your account.
But if you want to delete it immediately, then you would go to the top right hand corner. You locate the empty trash icon right here. It's going to indicate it by like icon with like a trash can and X in it. You hit empty trash. It's going to ask you, do you really want to empty your trash? You would say yes. And it's going to empty it. And all your items in your trash will be gone from your account. And you cannot get those items back. So the next option will be storage. So it's indicated by the left-hand side of your screen on the bottom. I'm going to click on it right here. There's kind of like a cloud icon next to it. So this is going to tell you kind of like um, how much storage you have left and based on your preferences, how long it's going to take for you to kind of fill it. So for this account, is it kind of like a, like a dummy account? So I have not uploaded a lot of photos, but it's saying that I have more than four years left of storage. And I've only used 32 megabytes of storage in Google Photos. I've used 69 megabytes in Google Drive or Gmail, and I have a lot of storage left. But if you have like a lot of photos, then you might want to get more storage. And one of the options is you would have to pay on like a monthly fee and you'll click on this link right here to get more options. And Google Photos does have kind of options to help you if you want to clear off your photos. So it will kind of scan your photos in your Google Photos account. It's going to see like, oh, do you have large photos or videos? Do you have blurry photos? Do you have screenshots that you don't want to save anymore? You have unsupported videos. And it's going to be indicated under one of these options right here on your screen. And you would have the option of kind of deleting them from your account. And you would save space like that. And like I mentioned earlier, if you have uploaded photos before June 1st of 2021 and you chose the reduce quality option, those photos will still be in your account. You don't have to worry about deleting them because those will not count toward your 50 gigabytes. That's because these photos were uploaded before Google Photos made their change. But any photos or videos after that date and you upload them, those will count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. And that's where you might have to clear off some things to save space. Okay, so that's kind of like the options on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go back to the main screen right here. I'm gonna show you more options right here. If you go to the top of your screen, you see like a search box. It's kind of indicated by this box right here with like a magnifying glass. So you can search through your photos. So I'm gonna use my mouse and click on it. So let's say I wanna search for pizza. I'm gonna type in pizza and I'm gonna click enter. And it is gonna find all the photos that it thinks that it has pizza in it. And that's how you can do like a basic search. Or if you already named your photos with the, with the pizza in it, then it will kind of bring that up as well too. I'm gonna go back and that's how you can search through your uh, photos in your Google Photos account. But let's say you don't uh, use the backup option from your Android device or your iPhone. And you might wanna just upload photos directly from your computer or laptop or desktop. Then you would go to the top right hand corner of your screen on this page and you would locate the upload option right here. It's going to indicate it by an icon of like an arrow pointing up and you click on upload photos. And once you click on it, kind of like a screen should pop up and you should see where do you want to upload the photos from. And you have two options. You could upload photos from your computer, or let's say you saved some photos in your Google Drive account and you want to upload it from there as well. So you select one of these options right here. But if you, uh, let's say you want to automatically back up photos from your computer, you have the third option right here, which is automatically back up photos from your computer. I'm going to click on that and I'll show you what that looks like. So what this is, is if you want to automatically back up photos in a certain folder on your computer, you will have to download a Google Drive for desktop. You click download right here. It's going to download, it's going to install, and you have to log into your account. And once you do that, you should follow the instructions. And it's going to ask you where are the photos that you want to automatically back up. And you would select that folder, and it is going to back it up to your Google Photos account. But for today, I cannot download and install it. So you have to click download here on your device and you kind of follow the instructions if you like this option. But if not, you don't have to use this option. I'm going to click back. It's going to bring me back to here. And I'm going to go back to upload. I'll click upload again. And I'm going to click upload from computer. I'll click computer. 
And it's going to ask me where are the photos that I want to upload. And I'm going to select it from here. And we'll click open. And I selected one photo and it has uploaded. And usually once it uploads, it will give you like a small indication on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. I only uploaded one item, but if you have like 10 items or 20 items, it will let you know right here on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. And I'm gonna click X. And it's gonna show here automatically on your screen. So it really depends on how the data was tagged. So if you use a camera and it tagged the photo, like uh, it was taken like 2020, 2001, then it will be uploaded to your account, but then it won't show near the top of your screen. It's gonna show about a year. So it might be uh, 20 or 2001, you have to go back down and you can find a photo like near the bottom. So it depends on when the photo was taken and how kind of like the data is attached to the photo. And that's how you upload photos to your account. So the next thing I'm gonna go over is, uh, let's say you already have your photos in Google Photos and you want to save them somewhere else that is not in your account. You might want to download the photos to let's say your flash drive, or you might want to download it to your computer and save it there. Then you will have to download them from Google Photos. And you could do that from selecting the photos on the screen right here. So I'm gonna select a couple of photos. I'm gonna click on the check mark or anywhere in the photo. And it's gonna indicate it that I selected the photo. So I'm gonna select one, two, three, four, five, six. And once I do that, I'm gonna to go to the top right-hand side of the screen. I'm gonna click on the three dots. And once I do that, I have all these options right here. I could have download, I'll click on download. And it's gonna download the photos that I have selected. So usually if you select more than one photo, it's gonna to download to your device. It's gonna be in the, in the zip file. So once it finishes downloading, you have your zip file on your computer. You can unzip the file and you can save it to wherever you want. So you could back it up to your flash drive and you could give it to someone else. And that's one option. So that's how you will kind of download your photos from Google Photos instead of uploading your photos to Google Photos. So next I'm gonna go over what uh, you could actually edit within like a photo in Google Photo. So I'm gonna select the photo on the screen right here. I'm gonna, gonna click on a photo right here. It is gonna open the photo and you have all these options on the top right-hand corner of your page. I kind of went over what the three dots are, like more options. You have download, you can rotate, you can kind of add to album, the order, you can archive. So all of these are the, the options right here. But if you look on these options, so I went over how to favorite. And the next thing I'm gonna go over is the info option. It's gonna indicate it by like an eye and a circle near the top right-hand corner of a photo once you select it. And once you click on it, it's gonna give you all these options about how or what's in or, or what's about the photo. So you could add a description to the photo. And if you have people in there, you should kind of detect like how many faces are in there. And it's gonna give you details about the dates of the photo. So it says today, December 10. So the dates might not be as accurate because if you download a photo from the internet and you upload that photo to Google Photos, it might think that the photo was taken the day of the download. But if you use, uh, let's say, if you, you use your smartphone or tablet to take a photo and you have the option of kind of um, including information in your photo, then it will have the date of the photo attached to that photo. Or if you're using like a physical camera, like a physical digital camera, then it will kind of tag that photo too with a date. And it's gonna let you know date, it's gonna let you know the name of the photo, it's gonna let you know how many megapixels is the photo and how big it is. And it's gonna let you know how was it uploaded to your Google Photos account. So right now it says upload it from web browser. It's because I just uploaded this photo right now. But if you backed up this photo from your phone or tablet, it would let you know um, upload it from like, let's say a smartphone or Samsung smartphone or upload it from an iPad. It will let you know here as well too. And if you want to add a location to the photo, uh, you could do that on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Sometimes the location is already uh, added because you have the option of automatically tagging your photos when you take them on your smartphone. It will let you know where the photo was taken. But since I uploaded this photo from the web, 
there's no location, and I could add the location myself. So I'll click on Add Location. It should be on the bottom right-hand corner of the page right now. So once I click on it, I'll select San Francisco, and I'm gonna click on it. And it's gonna add the location of San Francisco to this photo. And it's gonna give me like a brief map of what it looks like right here. And that's how you can see more information about your photo. So I'm gonna click X. So earlier I went over how to share an album, but let's say you want to share this specific photo with someone. So while you're on this page right here, you will go to the top right-hand corner of the page and you will locate the icon that kind of looks like, uh, like a triangle that's connected by dots and circles. I'm pointing to it with my mouse right now and I'm hovering over it and it says share. So this is the share option right here. I will click on that. So right now it's gonna give the options of sharing. So how would you wanna share? You could share it with a group or you could create a link and share it like that. So to create a link, you will go to the bottom of the screen right now. It should be on the left-hand side in the middle. You click on create link. And once you click on create link, it'll bring you to this kind of screen right here. And it says, let anyone with link see photos and people in this album. And we'll click on create link. So now it created a link and the link should be right here. And you can click on copy on the right-hand side click copy, and once you click copy, the link is copied and you could email this link to anyone you want to share it with and they would have access to this photo. And that's how you would kind of share a photo. So the next option I'm gonna go over is how to kind of make minor edits to your photo. So you go back to the top right-hand corner of your screen again, you locate the icon kind of, that kind of looks like line, uh, horizontal lines, and there's kind of like um, more lines in the middle. It, this is the edit option. So I'm gonna click on that. And it's going to give me options to kind of do minor edits to my photo. So what kind of edits? So you could kind of edit like the color scheme. So right now it is original. You could select auto. I'm going to select it right now. And it's kind of going to automatically fix the photo for the colors. Or you could select any of these other options right here as well. So let's say I select the option of blush. So right here, blush, and you could kind of toggle between the options as well too. And you can see like the difference. And that's how you kind of change like, like minor colors to your photo. And next I'm gonna go over like basic adjustments. So you go to the top right-hand corner of the screen. You'll click on this icon right here. And you can adjust like the light. You just have to toggle between left and right until you like the options. And that's how you would select that option. And the next option would be kind of like uh, cropping or kind of adjusting your photo. So you could crop your photo to make it smaller or just to the section that you like. You would just go to any of the four corners and you would locate the circle and you use your mouse to hover over it. And once you hover over it, you should see kind of like two arrows pointing from kind of top left to bottom right. And that's where you could click on, click on it and you, adjust the photo and crop it to where you would like. Let's say I want to crop it to this. And if I'm happy, I'll hit done on the top right-hand corner. But if I'm not, I could make more adjustments or if I want to kind of rotate, I'll click on the rotate option near the top right-hand corner. It's indicated by like an arrow pointing to the left. I'll just rotate. And you can kind of experiment with this by yourself. And we'll click done. And that's how you kind of make minor adjustments. I'm clicking done again. But if you do not like the edits, you'll click on undo edits near top of your page right now. But if you like it, just hit done. And it's gonna save. And now it's gonna save, I'm gonna go back. And here's the photo that I just made. And that's how you kind of edit your photos in Google Photos. Okay, so that's, my class on how to kind of make minor edits, kind of upload, kind of download, and kind of navigate Google Photos.